The Adidas Future Pacer is a fresh take on an old Adidas running model called the Micro Pacer. The Future Pacer draws inspiration from the shape and lines of the Micro Pacer while taking a step into the future by experimenting with new materials. Unlike its predecessor, this shoe is designed to be purely a lifestyle sneaker and could easily be mistaken for a Y3 model. Is the Future Pacer an exciting new direction for Adidas or just a shot in the dark? Let's find out. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Adidas Future Pacer. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Really quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Rejuvenator. Rejuvenator is my go-to when it comes to all my sneaker cleaning needs. If you'd like to check out Rejuvenator for yourself, make sure to click the link in the top of the description and use my discount code SETH for 10% off your entire order. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the Future Pacer is based on the original Adidas Micro Pacer. There was a lot of interesting details throughout that shoe that have been translated over to this new version of the sneaker. For example, on the tongue of the original Micro Pacer, where there's this little cutout box on the Future Pacer, there actually used to be a step counter that was actually embedded into the sneaker. It had a little black and white screen that would track your steps, and at the time, it was a really cool addition to the sneaker. So to pay homage to that, Adidas actually included the original cutout where the step counter would be placed on the left sneaker. As you'll see throughout the review, the entire Future Pacer is sort of a high-end redesign of the original Micro Pacer. So without further ado, here here it is, the Adidas Future Pacer. So jumping right into the upper of the sneaker, around the edge of the toe you've got this white leather panel. It's pretty soft and has a nice grain to it, of course it's not tumbled, but as you guys know, tumbled leather isn't always an indicator of quality. In fact, in most cases, the tumbled texture that's on a leather on sneakers is actually synthetic. They actually roll that texture onto the leather. They literally use a big press and actually press that texture into the leather. So using tumbled leather as an indicator of quality is sort of a common misconception and can really be easily fake. Moving up a little bit farther on the toe, you've got this tiny piece of nubuck peeking out underneath the leather. And beneath that, and actually covering a majority of the shoe, is this 3M synthetic leather material. This 3M leather is actually really interesting and something I didn't even notice until I got the shoe back to my apartment. On the shelf, it literally just looked like a cream white. I had no idea that it had any sort of 3M detailing on it. And then I got home and put it in front of my lights and it sort of got this weird gloss sort of glow to it, which I didn't expect. And then when I took a picture of it with the flash, it got that 3M shine and it became obvious that that's what it was. This synthetic leather material has sort of a matte finish and literally covers almost the entire shoe. It's on the toe, the midfoot on both sides, and the heel. And for me personally, it wasn't a selling point because obviously I didn't even know it was there when I bought the shoe. But now that I have the shoe, I think it's kind of a cool touch and gives the upper another layer of interest. As you continue up on the shoe, you find this white leather flap or shroud that's stitched on with this black thread. This flap is actually pretty interesting because it covers up the laces. In my opinion, it's kind of a weird touch, but again, it's sort of a throwback to the original Micro Pacer, so that's the reason for it being on the Future Pacer. It doesn't do anything for fit, it's purely there for aesthetics. I mean, I guess if you like to keep your laces fresh, then maybe you can cover them up with the shroud. <laughs> As I mentioned before, the left shoe actually features that same cutout that was on the original Micro Pacer. And then on the right shoe, instead of having that cutout, you've actually got this tiny little pocket, which, um, you know, I have no idea what that pocket could be for. It's crazy. What what could you want to store in your shoes? Drug pocket! You guys know what it's for. Come on. It's for your rejuvenator pocket wipes. Probably. As I mentioned before, underneath the shroud you've got your laces. Rather than being covered in leather like usual, the lace eyelets are actually covered in Velcro. The flat laces themselves come in cream white to match the rest of the upper. As you'd expect, the tongue also comes in that synthetic 3M leather that you get in the rest of the upper. And then rounding off the tongue, you've got more of that black stitching found at the bottom of the shroud, and then this light pink or salmon pink patch sewed onto the top of the tongue. Moving inside the shoe, you've got this glossy cream colored sock liner. It's pretty well padded, it's nothing incredible, but it's definitely a comfortable fit nonetheless. The insole of the shoe comes in black and is not removable. Printed on the heel of the insole in pink, you've got your standard Adidas Originals branding. As for fit, the Adidas Future Pacer pretty much fits true to size. But as I always suggest, if you have a chance to try the shoe on first before you buy it, make sure to do that to make sure the sizing is right for you. Moving back along the midfoot, as I mentioned before, you've got more of that cream colored synthetic 3M leather. On the medial side, you've actually got some sort of abstract text printed in black. Adidas always throws on like random letters and numbers and sometimes script in different languages. I never know what it means. I I would assume that it has something to do with like the sample number or maybe the style of the shoe or something like that. But for everyone who's just a regular consumer, 
it's kind of meaningless. I mean, I guess it looks cool though. Continuing back on the shoe, around the bottom of the upper, you've got this dark blue rubber accent. I would assume that's there purely for aesthetics because the only other reason it could be there was to be a heel counter, which I mean, it didn't seem to make a difference at all. So because of that, I think it's just a piece of material that adds an accent color to the shoe. Regardless, I like it because I think it adds a little bit more interest to the shoe because without it, the upper would just kind of be black and white. Moving around to the heel of the shoe, you've got this pretty large black leather panel that sort of acts like a heel counter, but also turns into a pull tab. Moving down the shoe, you get to another micro pacer inspired element, the midsole. The midsole almost looks like it has full length boost, but I don't think it does. These light gray rubber accents from the side look pretty small, but when you look at the bottom of the shoe, the rubber actually runs throughout the midsole. So even though the rubber on the tip of the toe and the forefoot looks disconnected from the side, it's actually connected on the bottom of the sneaker. With that being said, even though it's not a full length boost midsole, it's still pretty comfortable on foot. On some of the rubber accents, you've got these ridge details, like on the midfoot here and on the heel. Those are both micro pacer inspired. And if I'm honest, this panel right here on the forefoot kind of reminds me of an NMD. And then rounding off the midsole on the heel of the shoe, you've got the Adidas logo embossed into the material. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this flat all black rubber outsole. If I'm honest, traction is kind of crap on this shoe. The outsole is actually very similar to the regular NMD. So if you guys know how that feels, it feels exactly the same. Overall, the Adidas Future Pacer is a really cool and interesting update to the original Adidas Micro Pacer. Rather than trying to recreate the Micro Pacer as a new kind of running shoe, instead what they did was make it a lifestyle sneaker, which I think was a good choice. Adidas already has a bunch of great running sneakers, there's no reason to add something kind of unnecessary to the list. One thing that I really liked about this shoe when I first saw it is that it almost seems like a high fashion sneaker. It almost has a Y3 vibe to it, which I really like. If you're trying to grab a pair of these for yourself, they retail for 180 bucks and haven't sold out yet, so they shouldn't be hard to find. That pretty much wraps up the video for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Adidas Future Pacer and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.